What's up guys, this is Burt Music and welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops 1 10 years later. Isn't it pretty crazy to think that Black Ops 1 came out 10 years ago? It really is hard to believe. In 2010, Black Ops 1 came out with an exceptional campaign, some really good zombies, and some interesting changes to the multiplayer. Which is exactly where we're gonna be starting with this video. Uh, even the menu music is just so iconic. 1.3 million players online? Yeah. Don't be fooled guys, it's already been debunked that there's not this many players online still playing Black Ops 1. There is still a good amount playing, but it's not that high. 99,000 people playing TDM though? Okay. This should be pretty interesting. Just some of the guns, like the G11, it's just so crazy. It's really funny too, because you guys know my stance on Black Ops 1. When the game first came out, the transition from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 1, for me at least, was actually really difficult. For the lack of a better word, Modern Warfare 2 was easier. The time to kill for Modern Warfare 2 was very fast, and Black Ops 1 really slowed things down. Some people like that style of play, I had a really hard time adapting, but at the time for Black Ops 1's multiplayer, the thing that just absolutely killed it for me was classes like this one. Maybe not identical to this, but the silence from Moss with the motion sensors and ghosts and second chance camping, it was ridiculous. It makes the Modern Warfare campers look like platypuses in comparison. The campers at the time on Black Ops 1 were next level. I hated it so much. But now it just straight up looks like I can't even find a match. I have an open ad type, everything is good. I'm surprised I can't find a game right now. If I can't find TDM, what am I gonna play? This is a little worrying. 50 good games, please. 100 good games? Put me in one. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. There's one other person in the world playing. Solid. But regardless of my opinions of Black Ops 1's multiplayer at the time, there were subjectively some really good new innovations added to Black Ops 1 for the first time. The introduction of theater mode, wager matches, bots, the whole file share system and how you can access community clips and stuff. Although I'm not sure if it's working right now. It's really weird. Picture for Facebook. Sometimes the screenshots can be a little if- I can smell you. <laughs> <laughs> I miss just looking at screenshots on Black Ops 1. So good, dude. <laughs> Most epic face ever. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before. I probably reacted to it at least like half a dozen times now. Oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> we just have one called Oof. I can't even find a multiplayer match, but I'm chill just looking at- Oh my god, what the- That's supposed to be a face on the gun? I don't know what I'm looking at here. I can just look at screenshots all day, though. Dogs use guns? Oh my god. He's jump shotting like it's Infinite Warfare. This dog predicted the future right here. All right, I gotta, I gotta stop looking at screenshots. Let's see if we can find a game. I actually want to talk about Black Ops 1's multiplayer and play the game. There's 1.3 million people playing. How come I can't find a lobby? God, this game is so shit. Yeah. Oh wait, I can't believe I can't find an online game. I'm just gonna go into a private match right now so I can talk about something specific. Wait, what happened to the boss? Didn't they, ha they had bots in Black Ops 1? Oh, it's combat training. Oh my God. I forgot you had to specifically go to combat training, not private match. It it's been too long. <laughs> All right, here we go. I have to play against bots because the 1.3 million people playing aren't actually in the matchmaking or something. Wait, is Von Har in here? I don't know. Oh, Von, he's not in the lobby. I'm sad now. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before on the channel, but what I really didn't like about Black Ops 1 at the time was the lack of support for the sniping community. Back in 2010, Treyarch's community manager at the time really didn't support sniping at all. The dude specifically had a vendetta against quickscoping in Call of Duty. He specifically didn't want us doing that in Call of Duty. So for about roughly six to eight months in Black Ops 1, whenever you tried to like zoom your scope in, it would randomly give you the sway into a different direction. And it was random every single time, so you couldn't really quickscope at all. But the thing with doing that is it also kind of created this tiny little problem. It was basically fucking impossible to snipe. The sway was so bad that this is what you had to do to snipe. You'd have to look at someone. <laughs> Aim for about a second and then shoot. That might not seem too bad at first until you factor in how fast people react with assault rifles and SMGs. Snipers basically couldn't compete in the game until they actually released a patch. And I think by that point in the game's life cycle, the community manager either stepped down or got fired. I forgot. But yeah, sniping was a complete mess in Black Ops 1 for a very long time. Part of the reason this pissed me off so much back then is because coming off of like COD 4, World of War, Modern Warfare 2, games that were amazing to snipe in, it was just such a detriment back then. I wanted to be a part of the sniping community and hit clips and make montages and stuff. I know, guys, I was so fucking awesome back then. <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to be able to do all of that stuff and it was just basically impossible in Black Ops 1, so. My love for this game's multiplayer is definitely to be found in wager matches, not the regular multiplayer. Hold up, I'm popping off. I have more ammo? <gasps> Feed! Now! Okay, I just suck. <laughs> I want to see if I can actually find a wager match. 5,000 people playing gun game? That has to be a lie. This is actually just really sad. There's no multiplayer matches. If you can't find a gun game match in any up, you're screwed. That means this shit is dead. This is actually really bumming me out right now. At least last year when I did Modern Warfare 2, 10 years later, there were matches. Maybe we can find High Roller. I go to click High Roller and the game just dies? Okay. This is a solid Black Ops video. I wonder if they purposely ruined the Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 servers to make Black Ops 3 and 4 look better. I wouldn't doubt it. Any lobby I get into, there's only one other person playing. This is just, it's sad. I genuinely wanted to play Black Ops 1 today, man. One potential match? Come on, it's, it, it has to be perfect. Uh, oh, come on! One, one, 
person? Come on! One of these days, I'm just gonna upload a video titled Guy Yells at Monitor Because Video Games Are Stupid. That title could pass for this video or about half my videos. <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping for that miracle game lobby that I'll join that actually has a bunch of people, but it doesn't exist. No, Is no one touching this game anymore? I can't believe this. I think I'm just gonna go play a Black Ops 1 mission. If you guys haven't played the mission for CUDA in Black Ops 1, it's like one of the most iconic missions. This mission is so badass. It was a setup. They knew we were coming. That bastard Dragovich. The Russian. Yeah. He was buying everything. Where did Dragovich take you? To Russia. A labor camp. Oh, a hellhole called Vakuda. Oh my god. What did they do to you, Mason? <laughs> what didn't they do? Oh, why is the the voice is too quiet? You can't actually hear it. Well, that just kind of ruined the cutscene. Oh, here we go. Here's Reznov. Hi, everybody. I'm Reznov. Sobaki! Oh, here we go. Get the fuck down! Every journey begins with a single step. This is step one! Secure the keys! <laughs> we take Vokuta! Got like this whole big plane. He's got all these steps. There's one part coming up that's about to be so fucked up. Oh, where, where's the big dude? Is this the big dude? Oh, get ready for this. To introduce oh god. So Sergei's about to do something so fucked up. I, I, if you guys have seen this, then you know what's about to happen. You sure can trust this America. With my life, he and us are not so different. We are all soldiers without an army, betrayed, forgotten. Abandoned in Vokulta, we are all brothers. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I see you know. Oh god, here it comes. Wait until you see what Big Boy's about to do. <laughs> oh god, here it comes. Oh! Jesus! <laughs> That's 2010 Call of Duty for you. Good god, man. Victory cannot be achieved without sacrifice, Mason. We Russians know this better than anyone. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you're open the doors. You guys are so nice. Thank you. Look at all you. Everyone fucking died. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Yeah, so for this part of the mission, you're basically just stuck behind this train cart. They're gonna be pushing it, and you have to cover them. If you don't pick up this Makarov pistol at the start, this whole part is just, like, so difficult. Especially on veteran. I remember this slingshot thing. If you get all three in a row, you actually get a special little achievement for it. I'm pretty sure I've done it. I don't know if I can do it now. Yeah, I already fucking missed. Oh my god, I'm, fi I'm failing this part so hard. I've missed, like, five times already. Too far? Oh, come on. Step five! Skewer the wicked beast! Step, skewer the wicked beast? I don't know how Reznov came up with all of these steps. Oh boy, this is, this is on Recruit too. I've also completely forgot to mention that Black Ops 1 has such an amazing soundtrack. I think it was mainly composed by Sean Murray and it's just, it's so good. I use music for Black Ops 1 soundtrack all the time in videos. Grab the harpoon! Boom. Oh. Okay, I thought I was about to die. Yeah, guys, that's the Wicked Beast. That shit's fucked. Oh my god, I completely forgot about dolphin diving in this game. I'm a dolphin. That that was definitely a dolphin noise. <laughs> Woo, we're gonna slide through. Oh, I think Sergei gets crushed here. Oh. Yep. <laughs> that reaction. No! Did it just buffer overflow me? For some reason, my face cam stopped recording. Well, guys, as my luck would have it, my face cam had the whole buffer overflow thing, so it just lost 40 minutes of face cam footage. So, yeah, this video is going really well. Why do I have to have such bad luck? I think that might be the end of this camera, honestly. I looked up the whole buffer overflow thing on their error page, and if it's continuously happening, it can mean that the whole camera is damaged. I'm upset. This is just so ridiculously unlucky. There we go. Time to get the minigun. You get a death machine with 999 rounds. Step seven is just raise hell. This is one of the most fun missions in Black Ops 1. It's so good. Step seven, just fucking shoot everything. This is exactly how I feel after finding out that my face cam has lost 40 minutes of footage. Oh my god, this is so ridiculously over the top, man. I don't know whose idea it was to come up with this mission, but it is so badass. They are using tear gas. Oh, not the tear gas. They used tear gas. I couldn't breathe. You never left me. And that's what you thought, Mason. I like how we just end up here and then boom. 
Harley Davidson. <laughs> I am gonna spoil the campaign here a little bit, but you guys had 10 years to play it, so. After this whole sequence of trying to escape with Reznov, he actually doesn't escape. He gets captured, and I think he gets killed. After this whole sequence here with Reznov, he actually doesn't make it out. I'm pretty sure Reznov gets captured and killed, but Mason ends up getting brainwashed to think that he's still alive. What is the sight for this MG? I always wondered what the point of it was. Like, how is this gonna help you aim? Oh, here we go. All the music here is so cool. Wait, why is it playing two different tracks? It's not supposed to do that, is it? Come on! Step eight, Resna! Freedom! For you, Mason! Not for me! Resna! And that's where you lose him forever. But yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna end things here. I'm genuinely upset about the face game just completely losing all of my footage. Plus, to be honest, I don't really wanna play much more campaign or do zombies. And it really sucks that the multiplayer is basically dead as hell. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Black Ops 10 years later. If you guys did enjoy this video and you wanna see some more throwback Call of Duty stuff, make sure to drop a like. See you guys later.